to this review of Shoot On Through, Shooting On Through, um, the challenge, the task set was for you to uh, shoot through objects, um, so you're creating uh, almost a natural frame or vignette whereby um, the image that you're shooting we drawn through to the object in the background because the foreground um, has been kind of masked by, it might be that you're shooting through railings or through trees to an object behind. So it creates the effect of, uh, rather than just a full frame, where it draws, it draws the eye through to a portion of the image. Um, and you will see examples here now. So um, loads this week which was really, really good. Um, I've just picked a few again to go through. Just little highlights, just little ones that show um, how this effect can work. Um, so some of you have, have done some great jobs here with this. First up, Paul. Um, so we're shooting, you know, you're shooting through what we then kind of see looks like cutlery. Um, into a, a living room space and what I like about this is um, the foreground is out of focus enough because it's drawing us through because the background is in focus and that's the idea of this um, but I also love the the fact that well we've got kitchen utensils so are we in another room so is that almost that other kind of barrier that we can't see but metaphysically you've presented that because you've got kitchen utensils so we've got that from one room to another so um, you've almost kind of done a, a double shoot through Whew. like a double rainbow no but in all seriousness I think it works really well uh, good use of, uh, of kind of always difficult shooting a window because the light in, inside potentially depending on what time of day it is and how bright it is, is a lot different outside. So you do get a bit of saturation, but it works really well there. Good job, or overexposure rather. Kath, there's some nice ones this week. Kath, I really like this one. Although it's not too close to um, the kind of subject we're shooting through almost, because this is what we're, we're drawn to, which is great. Um, it does actually work because of the way you've used that as a crop. So you could have gone in closer, um, but it actually works really well. Um, so it could have been closer than that, but um, it's nice because it sets the scene and it also sets the scene because we've got the reflection here. So we're, near, we're nowhere near the bank. Um, so it was a kind of halfway shoot through image. It actually works really well. So I do like your um, I do like your use of reflections in your work. It's become quite a distinctive marker for for telling what's your image, which is really good. Uh, Steph, nice to see you back this week. You took quite a few, which was great, and I loved this. Um, so there's our there's our kind of natural <clears throat> frame. So we're shooting through that to this bit of nature in the background um, so when we look at this straight away poof, and it's not just because it's in the in the middle of the frame either um, as maybe eyes would be or eyes would be kind of maybe in the top third and it's that thing of kind of the rule of thirds of drawing you into that it works because we've got this which is out of focus so we can't see detail the only detail we can see is in the background there so Really good job, that Steph. And there's a, here's another one. Um, don't know what you're shooting through there, but it's great. And how you've captured that cloud. Uh, and again, that's the first thing that we're drawn to. So this is our vignette. This is our frame. Boom, shooting on through to that. So excellent. There were quite a few like that, and quite a few people did some like that. There's another one down there by the Steph. Paul, you did a few with a cutout as well which worked really nicely uh, John Allen John I liked this one a lot um, because again we can see we've got a natural frame 
which is in the foreground, out of focus, draws us straight back to this. Um, and you frame this really well, actually, so the door, in its sense, um, is lined up very, very nicely and neatly in the middle. So again, that helps to kind of decompartmentalize for our eyes. So it's like, boom, 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 okay, central, there it is. Through that, um, yeah, it's a beautiful image. Ooh, the detail of the paint on the brick as well. Um, and a little bit of light on here, so we can see a bit of colour coming through to this as well, which is which is really nice. It's like, and it's that idea again of it's a it's a glimpsing out or it's a glimpsing through. Um, so it creates that division between where where you are and where the viewer is and where you set the viewer to what you're actually kind of asking them or showing them, which is really good. Hi Vanessa. Good to see you. Been a while. Hope you're well. Um, the white squirrel. Um, good as well. Shot on your phone. I think you said. Oh no, actually, sorry. My apologies. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. Anyway, um, great, uh, great shoot through here, because um, we've got this. These kind of leaves. This branch in the foreground so we've got the idea of it being um, that we're, we're kind of shooting through or you're shooting through um, to capture this squirrel in the back in the background almost and we've got a nice depth of field here because we've got some of the background out of focus as well so um, good shot with that um, and I think it works really well because again as kind of Catherine's did Cast did. We're kind of. We're not fully kind of have something over, you know, covering the frame, but we have in a sense because this helps to draw that out. If this wasn't here, I mean, it'd be a great shot anyway. But this just helps to draw that central focal point out, and that's the idea of the shoot through. So you've captured it really, really well. It's a lovely shot that. Another one by you, Vanessa. Sorry, this one was taken on your phone. My apologies. Um, and this is great. We've got a really long shoot through, but we're almost kind of a spiral of greenery that takes us all the way. And it does feel like it's got that effect. The way that the branches are curling over and we've got the shrubbery here all the way. Do, do, do into the boat in the background really good shot really is good very good very good job Kath again loved this we're getting closer to the to our natural frame but even though you know this is slightly in and out of focus you've cropped it really nicely so that's our natural crop uh, there's nothing else there and naturally this is bringing our view into the foreground so a little dog here so yeah that, that's a really good one as well last couple pulls i like this just made a keyhole shape and paper great and and i think you tried that and a few others have tried that with actually you you're making your own kind of um shoot through template almost um, so you, you could have had fun with that it wasn't just about using natural um, natural fright framers and vignettes um, this one's really nice and draws us through to the bed the made bed but I don't know what's on there top or something but anyway what does it allude to I like that you know, I think if you were to just shoot an empty space, it would be kind of it would be quite bland. But this is almost it's the and and you know symbolically the keyhole through to something. So um, the kind of symbolism around that of kind of well, what's in there. We can't really see it. It seems empty, but is it empty? Um, and is it is it about it, the room? It's not about the room. It's about shooting through to to something else. An emotion, maybe I don't know, but it um, 
it alludes to something else which works really well. Uh, and last one, did a few of these, <coughs> sorry, did a few of these Steph, which works really well. Um, so this again, shooting on through. Um, great, and I love the angle on it actually, because it becomes a bit more abstract because of the colour. We can't really tell what it is. And then, oh yeah, it's a tree, but I like the angle, it works really well. Whoops. So, loads in the photo pool, which is fantastic. Have a look through. Um, oh, my word, I apologise. No. Steph, Guy, I forgot these two. Um, loved this one again. So we're through railings, and we're on an angle, but draws us straight into this, which is in focus in the in the foreground. In the background, sorry. Um, so really, really nice. I love this. Good angle, really good use of it because you know we would imagine that works. It actually works well, shooting through on an angle. Sorry about missing these uh, these these two out here because guy, this is a fantastic one. Look at this. You've used the two tree trunks as a frame and the branches actually. So all it does is it's kind of like instead of just seeing all that. We're just bounces round through the frame to this chap working in the garden. Really great shot. Um, it's kind of a sneaky street photography, which is another good technique of the shoot through. Um, and you've you've created this, as I say, with these kind of placing yourself in between the trees. So really good shot, that guy, and a great one to finish on. Might I add? Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed that one, and I look forward to seeing your lines. Your lines.